Hi guys, welcome to Money Kitchen Addiction. It's your girl, the only money with the double KK. So guys, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my potato fritters. Okay, so let's start cooking. I will be making use of four potato. All I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the skin, clean, then cut it to my preferred shape and size. So this is how I got my size. So after cutting, I'm still going to rinse, then keep it in a sieve to dry out all water. After that, I proceed to place my pan on fire, then pour in some flour oil, leave it to hot for about 5-3 minutes, then pour in the potato. You really need to let your oil hot, okay? So that's why I left it for like three to four minutes. After that, I sprinkle salt in it. Then I'm going to leave it to fry tea. It turns to golden brown. Now it's golden brown. All I'm going to do, I'm going to remove it from the oil. So I'm going to spread in a paper on the train, then spread it on a train so it can dry out the oil. So that's it. You see how beautiful it looks. It looks like Nigeria chinchi, right? And it tastes nice also. So these are the ingredients that I will be using. I'll be using tomato, scotch bonnet, and onions. I already sliced to my preferred shape and size. And I will also be using bell pepper, the yellow, and the red one. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to slice them to my preferred shape and size also. These are the seasoning that I will be using. All names are listed out. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you all. And I will be using butter. Okay, you can make use of sunflower oil, but I love this deliciousness with butter. I will also be making use of diced meat. Yeah, it's already pre-cooked, and uh, there is no need for me to fry it because it's oily, very oily. And I will also be adding four cooked egg. Yeah, it's already on fire cooking. So that's it. I will also be using cheese. Okay, we need cheese for this recipe and eggs. Take note. So let's start cooking. All I'm going to do, place a pan on fire, throw in the butter, leave it to melt out and leave it to hot for some sec before pouring in onions. Onions is going in first. So after pouring in the onions, leave it to fry for five seconds. Then pour in the sliced tomatoes and scotch bonnet. Then fry for about 10 seconds. Now, I'm going to pour in my pre-cooked diced meat. If you are making use of beef meat, this is pork meat, it's more of oil meat. Then, you boil and fry. That is just optional. You can cook without the diced meat. But for me, you know, I love chewable things. So, that's it. After that, I'm going to pour in the seasoning. All seasoning are needed as they all have one or two things they added to this recipe. So I'm adding paprika at sweat. I'm just going to sprinkle a little on it. And all seasoning will speak with a teaspoon. Please take note, too much of seasoning can mess it up. Now I'm going to stir fry for two minutes. After that, I'm going to gently pour in the bell pepper. then stir fry for about three minutes after stir frying for about three minutes i'm going to gently pour in the fried potatoes then i'm going to add in the boiled sliced eggs remember i make use of four boiled eggs then i'm going to continue to stir fry for another two minutes so guys our potatoes fritters is almost ready and i'm going to sprinkle some cheese on it like this is going to take the taste to another level almost so that's it after sprinkling the 
chase on it i'm just going to cover it to heat up for one minute and we are done like guys this recipe was introduced to me by my spanish friend this is what she normally used to bribe me i love it so much and i decided to share with you guys and if you love this recipe please don't forget to like share and also drop your opinion in the comment section see you know you guys know i love to stir food after adding this cheese i'm not supposed to stir she shouted at me because she was beside me when i was creating this content like i forgot <laughs> but it's all good it's still clear much well and very delicious so that's it stirring food is just something that i love so i'm going to serve some for myself and for my friend like it did take up to 10 minutes before we finish it all and everybody be like oh why did you make a lot i was like i didn't know you people are going to also like it the way i do so this is it i appreciate you guys i love you for watching to this essence and i recommend this for you to go try it out it tastes yummy really really nice and kids love it too so thank you so much for watching i appreciate you all see you in my next video bye